All right, Yins guys, this is going to be my first, uh, the first pick of the year of dandelions that started growing real quick already. But then it was like summertime, and then it's got a cold spell going on, and we got some snow, but man, we had some dandelions grow pretty damn quick. I just got these, washed them in the sink here, tore all the funky ones off. Look at his big ass root. I gotta just shave this off and then use that later, but I've gotten bigger ones. This looks like a couple roots intertwined together like it's with multiple dandelions growing together. I mean I've gotten bigger. in my videos in the past I've found bigger ones, but I just washed this shit real good here. And this we're just gonna put it all in here. Um, um, in case any of you guys haven't seen my videos before, uh, I put this in here, a pot like this. You can put it in one of these, but I like one of these because they cook a lot hotter and you get way more out of them. And then I have videos on dandelion tea and I was telling you guys in case you missed it. Uh, for pine needle tea, you got to use one of these or else cook it on the stove like some other people do on YouTube. But I think I'm the only one on YouTube that's made pine needle tea who has not did it like the way on the stove. I use one of these. And uh, this cooks nice and hot. You don't got to piss around with the stove. I mean, this will cook them. That's what we're going to do in here today. I'm just going to rip these all in half. Put this down for a second here, but kind of a no-brainer here. Rip them all in half like that. Because we want to throw a bunch in here real good. I'm just giving you the basic gist of it, but then you just shred them up a little bit to stuff as many as you can in here, and you want a real strong taste and all that, and you can put lemon juice, sugar, whatever you will. I'll do without sugar and all that. But I've worked as a landscaper in the past, you know, too, and different places like uh, jobs. And I've carried this stuff around, made it, and put it in big giant jugs and took with me to work. Like if you buy the big plastic jugs of green tea store bought, drink that down and then re reuse the jugs, you know, with the handles and put that in the workplace refrigerator, like the place I worked landscaping, I was able to do that. They had a nice big kitchen and fridge in there. But anyway, that's all you do. It Rip this up and stuff as many in here as you can. Put the lid on here and then cook it up and the rest is history, you know. So um, I do more videos on consuming the roots. I have uh, done videos on uh, actually eating the roots. I'm one of the very few people that actually sits there and consumes the stuff right in front of you, and I'm still alive, so I'm rather unique. My YouTube channel don't get the visits everybody else gets on this subject matter, but I'm just trying to show some of the people you know me, yes, you can consume the stuff and live, and it's totally good for you. You can use it, too. So. All right, then, that's just about it for this video. The rest is self-explanatory. I'll be posting this real soon.